Hi again swimmers. Today I'd like to talk about all the different turns, okay, in all the different strokes. So there's four strokes and obviously when you're swimming more than one length of a stroke, so as you get older, sort of from grade three onwards, you're going to have to swim two lengths of a 25 meter pool when you go to a gala, um, if, it's a, if it's a 25 meter pool like at Midlands. So when we when we're doing two lengths or more than more than two lengths, then we have to turn at the wall, and there's different turns for different strokes. So the way to remember it is if a stroke it has got one arm, then the next arm, then the next arm, like freestyle and backstroke, those strokes you may do a tumble turn, which is like a somersault turn, which I think you've seen some of the older swimmers do. So tumble turns, somersault turns, are for freestyle and for backstroke. But you're not allowed to do tumble turns for breaststroke and butterfly. So freestyle and backstroke, we do tumble turns. Breaststroke and butterfly, we do open turns. Okay, so just that you remember that we don't always do tumble turns. Now the question is, is do you have to do a tumble turn at a gala? So let's say you're participating for your school and your teacher said to you, you're swimming two lengths of freestyle. Um, do you have to do a tumble turn when you get to the wall? The answer is no, you don't have to. So as you're learning and developing and learning your tumble turns, it could be that you're faster just touching the wall and turning, doing an open turn and then continuing the second length. So that is where I can guide you. Obviously, we practice tumble turns a lot and we want you to do tumble turns on freestyle and backstroke because they are faster than open turns. Tumble turns are faster, but as you're learning them, you might still be slower if you're still perfecting your tumble turn. So a lot of parents think that you have to do a tumble turn in freestyle and backstroke, otherwise you're going to be disqualified. That is not at all the case but we are working towards doing tumble turns um, because they are faster eventually, but you won't be disqualified. As long as you follow the rules of that stroke, for instance with backstroke, if you're not going to tumble turn, you must finish the first length, touching the wall on your back, turn around, and then leave the wall again on your back because that's the rule of backstroke. So even if you're not doing a tumble turn, you must still follow the, the rule of touching on your back and leaving on your back. I hope that helps guys. Think about it so that we get, when we get back into the pool that we can work hard on our tumble turns and our open turns. And I'll be sending you videos now of both what tumble turns look like and what open turns look like so that you can see them for yourself. Bye.